Check out this takeover I did for Ulta Beauty and learn how to contour with our clay play face shaping palette. If you don't follow them already, definitely do so because they have the cutest tutorials. You may have noticed that only one half of my face is done. This side, which looks much better, much more contoured, my brows are filled, pretty much my entire face is done, minus this side. So I'm going to show you guys how to even it out and how to use this palette. This palette is like shapewear for your face. You can contour your cheeks, your jawline, your nose, anywhere you want with it, down your neck, even your chest. You can also do your brows, you can also do your shadow, it does it all. And we're going to start off by using the shade Journey right in our crease. Now we're going to take a little bit of the shade Smoke and we're just going to pack that right onto the outer corner and softly blend it out towards the center and up into the crease. This is infused with Amazonian clay too, so it's not going to move. It's got that 12 hour power and it just blends seamlessly. Now we're going to take the shade Solstice and we're just going to put that right in the inner corner. Just buff it out towards the smoke shade. Just kind of softly buff them together. And voila! Now taking the contour shade Terracotta, I'm just going to bring it right along the hollows of my cheeks and down my jawline. And now we're going to buff it in. Look at that. A perfectly soft and subtle contour, just enough to give your cheeks dimension and help you look more sculpted and toned. Now we're going to move on to the nose. Now we're going to take that same shade right down the side of the bridge of the nose, just like that. Just to help slenderize the appearance of it, and then just softly buff it in. And now that that's all softly blended out, we're going to move on to brows. So I'm going to fill in this brow because it's a little sparse right there. So I need to use a darker shade since I'm not a real blonde. So I took the shade Smoked and we're just going to make hair like strokes right into the brow just to fill in, give it a more natural look. You can also use two shades to add more dim dimension. I recommend using a shade that's closest to your natural brow color and then adding in some highlights and lowlights with one shade darker or one shade lighter. Using kind of a mix of shades gives it more of a natural look. So many of you probably didn't know that the pans in this palette actually are removable and you can pop them out and drop them into a portable palette or if you want to customize and make your own type of palette, they are all removable. I'll show you guys how to remove them now. I hope you guys enjoyed the magic of our Clay Play face shaping palette.